UFC 289 is this weekend, and my partners, DraftKings Sportsbook, are offering new customers $200 in bonus bets instantly. All you have to do is sign up using the promo code SUDDEN and bet just $5. That's right, new customers can bet just $5 on any of this weekend's fights and receive $200 in bonus bets instantly. Use the $200 in bonus bets on DraftKings Same Fight Parlay. This is going to give you a shot for an even bigger payout. Combine multiple bets together from the same fight, including number of rounds and method of victory. The more bets you combine, the more money you can win. If sports betting is not yet available in your state, don't worry. You can still join in on all the fun with DraftKings Daily Fantasy with the chance to win huge cash prizes. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app right now. New customers, use promo code SUN and bet just $5 on any wager and get 200 bonus bets instantly. That's promo code SUN and only at DraftKings Sportsbook. Benny, Oliveira, number one contenders match. And I read an article yesterday at one of the dirt sheets I go to. It's either, either Mania or Elbow and talking about Dana White, and they used the word waffle. And I actually highlighted it on my MacBook and looked it up. And I've heard the term he waffled before. I thought it was an expression I know was an actual word. Turns out it means when you're not with conviction on an idea, meaning you're still deciding. And I think that that was an exaggeration because while I read that headline, I went and watched what Dana actually said. I thought he made it pretty clear that uh, Benny, with a win, would be fighting for the title. Now, that was just my own opinion. But it wasn't as strong as you could say. So I'll live with the word waffle. That was somebody else's interpretation. But let's just take, take a little bit of a closer look there. And, and guys, I'm, I'm offering you this conversation on the heels of. Okay, so I want I want this this conversation to have an overlay of fighters coming out and saying they're not going to do McGregor and Chandler, and it's got nothing to do with Usada. They're scrapping the idea because the ratings are low for the Ultimate Fighter, and therefore they now know that's not a sought after fight. And I bring it to you because that's an interesting jumping off point. Okay, let's start there. I do not agree with a single word. But it's an interesting starting off point. So just have that as an overlay. Store that away somewhere. Let's come back. Give a look at this Benny Oliveira business. We are told that Oliveira has already been offered the rematch in Fight Island with Islam. That same, same, right? That's the same weight, that's the same guys, that's the same belt, that's the same venue. Interesting detail. If that piece of information is true. If it's true. And if we're doing this from a perspective of what's good for business, and therefore that's what we're going to predict. That's a very, very hard thing to know. And if, in fact, Oliveira was offered a rematch, it must have been a very nice piece of business. Now, Volkanovski ends up taking that. And just to remind you, Dana told us that fight, and it was trending towards. So it was just before the fight, but he has the numbers to make projections. It wasn't after the fact. And there is a difference, but he said that it was trending for a top five fight of all time. That's Volkanovski versus Islam. That fight didn't have a whole lot of sizzle. It had a very organic piece that Daniel Cormier put together, and that got played everywhere. And you know what? It worked for me. There was plenty of other things that went into it, but when you're talking about a top five fight, if the, this is all an if, if the information that Oliveira was offered that fight is true, then that would also mean that the, the, the predictions ahead of time and what the sense was, was that Volk in Islam wasn't going to be a big fight, turned out to be a top five. And we don't know where that could be number two. That could be number one, the top five, right? So we were also told that Oliveira versus Gaethje, biggest drawing fight of the year last year at the time that that got put out. And that was put out 
around June, which was relevant because already that year, we had seen Surreal Gone versus Francis Ngannou. We had seen Robert Whitaker versus Israel Adesanya. We'd seen some good fights. So it was a real compliment. I don't think any of us knew that Oliveira was drawing that way. Now, make sure you understand one thing, and it is a tremendous flaw within the algorithm. If two guys fight, okay, if you and I fight, to make this real simple, and we do big numbers, and I win, I will get all the credit. The way the algorithm is set up, it will all come to me. You are out. You are not coming back to main event. You're not coming back to this spot. I am because I won. I will get all the credit. Now, if you and I fight and it bombs and I win, that will get stuck on me. I may not return to main event status. It's a flaw within the algorithm, but I'm, I'm sharing with you that that is how it, in fact, works. So while we credit Oliveira, it could have been Gaethje. We don't know, but the, the math isn't set up that way. Now. Let's come back over here. So we're talking about doing Benny versus Islam. Well, if Islam, in fact, just did a top five in history piece of business, that means he took a spot from Conor McGregor, which in theory would mean he's bigger than Conor right now. How do you like that? Got a problem with it? Go ahead and have your problem. You just can't deny that he can go out there and draw. So now does it really matter who you put him in there with? I mean, apparently Oliveira was a good night of business, but now we know that Volkanovski is a good night of business. So where you got two nights of business and the same guy wins. The way the algorithm works is it just Islam, not to mention everybody else got a fight but Islam. He was put on reserve. He was so coveted and such a star. We're going to stick him over here and make everybody work their way to get to him. So does it really matter if it's Benny? That's all that I'm asking you. Would it really matter? And by the way, with a full promotion behind Benny, not to mention if he goes out and gets a job done this weekend, a lot of eyeballs. A lot of people are going to be paying attention and want to hear what he has to say. I think that Benny's going to come out a little bit different. I don't know that I have ever believed the I don't care done by Benny. The I don't care sometimes means I don't care. And sometimes it comes from an ignorance of I'm not following and I don't know how to do this and that's just not something I'm interested in. There, there's a little bit. That could be it. Generally, the I don't care, I'll fight anyone, I don't care what fight they give me. Comes from an insecurity that you can't get what you call for. So I just think we're going to see a different Benny. I don't think we're going to hear I don't care if he was to get over on Charles. I think he is going to not have those insecurities. He's going to have a belief and a confidence that he can get it, is going to get it. And that would just put Benny in a different light that we've never seen him. And I don't know what he's going to do. I don't know what he's going to say. I, do, I don't know how that will come across, but I do think it will be something different. And I think it'll be something interesting. And it's not as though that fight doesn't work. One of the most interesting things about Benny versus Islam is that they tried to do it. They then were talking of doing it again. And Dana White goes to a press conference and tells the media, I was going to make that fight. I'm at Islam versus Darush. And Joe Rogan just grabbed me in the back and told me not to make it. And he left it right there. He didn't say why. Don't make it now. One guy's hurt. It's a bad style. The... I don't know. I don't know. No, nobody ever came back to it. I think it's a really interesting thing. I would love to know. I really would. So, point that I'm attempting to make with that is the fight was already booked once. It was attempted to be made again. So, it, it, it's a hard time, I think, that you're going to have coming out and saying the inside info, which you don't have any access to those numbers. We just have to guess, right? I play the same game. But it would seem as we've got a few indicators that that one's all right. And that was going to be all right a couple of times already. And that's before Islam was champion of the world, before he's doing record-setting numbers. Before he's, he's got an event in an arena in the world that wants him and is requesting him and they're willing to wait to appease him. It's a big deal. It means he's a big deal. And they were going to make it before he was a big deal. And then whatever is going to go down with Benny and the change of attitude and what he has to say afterwards, I, I just think you're going to see something very different there. And you don't ever want to be anticlimactic, and you don't ever want to take somebody's motion, uh, motivation away. 
When we have a scenario, we've got Charles versus Benny. Okay, when we have that scenario, but we've got Gaethje and Poirier coming up, if we conclude things, if we bring a finality right then, and we take contendership or the ability for contendership off the next fight, many people, most people, believe that is done as a way of promoting the second fight. And they're part right, but it's not the lion's share. The lion's share of the motivation that Dana has for allowing that is so that he doesn't take motivation away from somebody. And if you take hope or you take opportunity, it's a very hard thing. That's why those things continue to live on. I think we're in a unique place. And we're in a unique place because this fight's late. It was supposed to be five weeks ago. We were supposed to have this booked and we've already got October and Islam on top. We just got to give them an opponent. So I'm just sharing with you. Some of your theories I think are off. And, and the ability or idea that, that, that Islam versus Darush isn't going to draw, I'd be real curious how you came to that conclusion considering the mind that does know those numbers tried to book it twice already.